Growing up, my mom is a nanny. She worked for a family that both worked in the medical field, the paramedic and a neonatal nurse. So I always aspire to be like them. What I envisioned being becoming a nurse would be like, as all health professionals would say, helping people. I care about people. <laughs> Uh, so I thought it was that, but I realized it's beyond that. It's being there for a patient holistically, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And then walked into a world of COVID, being this young professional in my community service, having to be one of the people that are in the uh, forefront, you know, fighting COVID and seeing all of that scary stuff, you know, because one envisions their comps of to be a year where you balance, you know, you're just basically learning how to walk into nursing and we didn't have any of that. We would get about two professional nurses in a unit dealing with about 50 patients a day. And we had to step in, a sh in the shoes of a full on professional nurse, not just a community service nurse, you know, leading a shift and taking all those hours, having to work extra hours just so that we could ensure that our patients are met and kept safe. You come back home, you're removing all this PPE that you're wearing, um, you barely get to see your loved ones. So that was a very tough time to actually walk into this field. Putting so much of our patients' needs before our own needs and not realizing how much that was swallowing ourselves. I know at some point, uh, just post-COVID or towards the end of COVID, I did experience burnout and I realized that I just didn't have the urge to wake up and go to work. I wasn't as excited, you know, to go to work then you eventually realize that you're actually tired emotionally. You know, you haven't dealt with all these emotions. You come back home to think about what could I have done to have changed that patient's situation. I've got a good support system. Uh, my husband is also in the medical field. So we started then talking more about what we experienced at work so that I could actually be able to express to someone that would understand because the public never understands how we're basically feeling and what we're going through, how it feels like to be overworked, you know. I started seeing a psychologist as well and that helped a lot with actually getting help because at this point in time, I realized that if I don't get my mental health fixed and sorted out, then I won't be able to help other people. Nurses usually don't get help because we are the ones that are always seen to help people. I guess it's also never having time. You're working in such terrible conditions and you still expect it to be fully functional and mentally okay every single day. And it's difficult to have to do work of five people as one person. I think if there could be better support structures for nurses, you know, support groups that sit down and then people getting to hear from our side as well what we are going through. To the nurses that are out there, I do believe that we can't pour from an empty cup. So we need to be fine first. We need to take care of our mental health first so that you can actually go up to that patient that is in need of you. And then you're able to provide for them fully because now you have taken care of your mental health.